levels are used by Revit to measure the distance from 0, 0. Uh, it's used for a lot of things like placing components, um, finding the height of walls, and placing things like floors, ceilings, and roofs. To find the level tags in a project, you um, can go to an elevation view, go into the browser window, in the elevations category, I'm going to double click on uh, north to open up a, a north elevation of the project. Um, once you do, uh, you'll see every project will start out with a level 1, which is at 0. Um, and if you start a project in an OPN template, um, there's also a level 2 already set up for you. Uh, if you uh, hover and then select tag, um, you can change it just like you would a grid line. Um, the check mark will make its uh, tag head appear on one side or the other. Um, you can drag the circle icon back and forth uh, and align the tags. Um, and I can uh, drag it up and down to change its height. Um, you can also uh, click in the text for the height value itself and change it there as well. And you can also change it and give it a name. Uh, when I change the name of it, uh, since the level is actually referencing views in the browser window, um, it asks me if I want to rename those views as well. Uh, go ahead and hit yes. And it's changed the names of the views associated with that level um, in the browser window. If you want a uh, level tag in here just for reference, for example, to, um, to tick off the head of the windows um, for an elevation view, for example, but you don't need it to reference anything, uh, you can just make a copy of any tag um, by selecting it, go up to copy, click to start, and then click again. Uh, if I hit escape a couple times, get out of the tag. See that this tag is black, um, and that's just telling you that it's not actually referencing anything. It's just a dummy tag. Um, you can go in here and align it to a window. So go up to the top, click align, grab the top of the window, and then grab the uh, reference level. Um, it has escape a couple times to get out of that, and then you can rename that. If I click on the padlock after I have aligned it, um, it will lock itself to the window, so anytime I move the windows, the uh, reference level should move with it. If you need to create a new level that is associated with views, uh, for example, if it's a multi-story building, uh, go to the tool tray to the left, and in the basics tab, uh, there is a level tool. Uh, if you click on that, you can uh, draw a new level out in an elevation view, just like a grid line. I'll click to start, drag, and click to finish. And a new um, blue tag um, is placed in the, w in the project, um, telling you that it's referencing a view. Let me go ahead and delete that. Um, once I delete a tag that's actually referencing a view, it will warn me that it's not just taking the tag out, but it's also removing the view associated with it. And finally, since uh, levels are associated with different objects in the model, including walls, um, you can actually go into the component's element properties and, modifying it and start modifying its um, parameters. Um, an example of this is um, I'm going to minimize this window and bring up the plan at the same time. I'll just tie all the windows together. If I go into the floor plan and select the walls, I'm going to just do a mass selection, go up to the filter button, I'll click check none, I'll just grab the walls. Um, I can actually go into its element properties and I can um, change the parameter uh, called top constraint, which means um, I can actually um, associate it with a level and it, the wall will um, glue itself to the, the level I tell it to. So I can choose the level that I want and click OK. In this case it's actually brought all the walls down to um, the level top of parapet that I told it to.